Hey YouTube, Alex here with Alex's Agamids, and as you can see behind me, this is not my usual filming background, and that is because I'm currently doing my college animal care internship at the well-respected RepTech facility here in Indianapolis, Indiana. So I figured while I'm here, with permission from the owners of course, all of the reptiles in these videos you'll see are animals that I've been able to work with personally here at RepTech as well as species that I just genuinely enjoy. So without further ado, let's talk about Vietnamese blue beauty snakes. So this right here is the male of the pair of Vietnamese blue beauty snakes that RepTech keeps. Hands down one of my favorite snake species. While I am primarily a lizard hobbyist, there's always a handful of snakes that just really amaze me. And so the blue beauties have definitely been one of these snakes. For the longest time too, it seems that they were seen as a cheap snake and not a lot of people were working with them. But in the past few years, it definitely seems that there are more people trying to get this species bred in captivity, which is awesome. This male in particular was actually captive bred by uh, Rob and Amy Zirkle of Zirkle Reptiles. And having known the owner, Stephen Cush here at RepTech, I actually can recall when he lived very close to my house back in Chicago, and I saw this snake three years ago. As you can see, he fits in my hand, which is pretty impressive, but these are actually very long snakes. They're just incredibly slender body. You can see stretched out, I'm starting to get my arms out there, and his tail still got about two, two and a half feet coiled up on my wrist here. And they really are just truly an amazing snake. And they're very easy to keep, which surprised me. A lot of people would say that they would die in captivity. They needed it really hot and humid. And the irony is, is that the uh, care for them is quite the opposite of that. Here at RepTech, we're maintaining the, the pair in a uh, ARS 8016 rack which is pretty much what I'd say like the minimal size for a single adult snake. Personally, I myself would suggest something like an Animal Plastics T13 cage for a single adult. And of course, bigger is always better for these guys. The thing that's really interesting about them though, compared to other snakes kept in the pet trade, is these guys are not a huge fan of heat. Normally, this species is found in and near the mouths of caves. So because of that, we actually keep them here at a ambient temperature. We don't do any supplemental heating here. And pretty much what we do is this room that they are housed in stays between 78 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit and that's it. Because again, being a cave species, they don't experience much of a temperature swing. So if they get above 82, they actually start to stress out and that really bothers them. The other thing that I think is really cool about them is that when it comes to feeding this species, they are not a fan of large meals. So, you know, with the girth of his body, he's about that big around, he could easily eat a large rat. But because of how, again, this is a cave-dwelling species that is adapted to eating bats and small mammals in caves, they actually prefer smaller prey items more frequently. These guys will actually eat a small or even weaned rat every seven days. And that's just because they've got such a high metabolism, and since they're kept at cooler temperatures, if you fed too large of a prey item, they'll actually regurgitate. Another cool fact about the Vietnamese blue beauty snakes that I personally enjoy is the pattern change. So if you look on his head right here, you can see about the first third of his neck is completely patternless. And then it goes down in this sort of diamond model pattern, followed by a striped sort of, I guess, crisscross on the tail. And then the tail itself is pretty much one long stripe. And as you can see too, now that he's stretched out, these are very long snakes. Uh, I'm about six foot one for reference, but you can see just how long and amazing these snakes are. They're very alert. Despite living in caves, they do have pretty good vision. And while a lot of people will regard the species as being fairly temperamental, I can tell you in my experience working here at RepTech, they're just a little bit tub defensive. And as you can see, once he's out of the tub, he does not care. He's definitely looking around and checking out the environment, but he has no ill will to bite me or he's not threatened at all. One of the coolest things that I've personally got to see with this species is to see a female coiled on eggs. My third week interning here, the uh, female laid a clutch of eggs and it was actually right after I got back from the NARBC Schaumburg show. So that was really cool to come back after a five hour drive and see one of my favorite species coiled up on eggs. I'll put a photo in the video right now. You can imagine when you're here at 1 a.m. and you're putting animals up and you're checking racks and whatnot, to see that healthy, beautiful female coiled up on eggs was just a sight to see. And so right now we have those eggs incubating at around 
76 degrees Fahrenheit in an extra large SIM container. I'll leave a link to SIM Container's website down below. They make a pretty awesome product. Other than that, that's Blue Beauty Snakes for you. Quick revamp on the care, like I said, we keep them at ambient heat between 78 and 80 degrees. For ambient humidity, you'd want anywhere between 55 and maybe 70% humidity. But don't overthink humidity with these guys. You want the air to be humid, but they do not like to be soaking wet. So the key is, as long as they're shedding in one piece, you're doing fine. I just want to highlight him one more time because he is just such a beautiful animal. Definitely with his coloration, that is how they have earned the name the Blue Beauty Rat Snake or the Vietnamese Blue Beauty Rat Snake. Truly just such an amazing animal and uh, one that I'm very thankful to have been able to work with here at Reptech. Without further ado, that is my little segment on Blue Beauty Snakes. Definitely stay tuned for more videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that down below. Leave a comment below on what you think about Blue Beauty Rat Snakes. They really are pretty easy to care for and they're underrated. I've had a fun time working with them here at Reptech and I want to hear your thoughts. Until then, I'm Alex with Alex of the Gamids and thank you for watching.